two, one. What's good, man? So, anyways, like, my battle, um, for the time, um, for some reason, it was just malfunctioning, so, we got the ebook coming right now, so here we go. I'm gonna go random nickel. Um, me personally, man, I like to, when I want to come in on, like, gun trade offset, one of my favorite tricks formation, I'm pretty comfortable in it, like I said in my last field, like, when I run my offense, I like to run against air, and then practice against, um, actual, like, defense and things like that after the fact. Um, that's just how, like, Football. That's how I grew up, like, learning about football. Just you practice against air, and then after you practice against the air, you go ahead and run against, like, different coverages and things like that. Um, so we're just going to go straight to the mix, to be honest with you. And, and you can run against air um, probably you have some time on your own. But I'm just going to show you guys straight up, show you straight up how to uh, use this uh, um, offense inside this gun tray. Anyways, we have a number of things we want to do. We want to always come out and read option. That's our play that we come out in. Read option or bubble, RPO bubble. I'll go. That's the last play I'll go through. Uh, we also have RPO read, wide receiver. The difference between the read RPO is the fact that it's a read option. It's not like a pass RPO. It's a read option. And then the read is, if the option is not there, then you can look to pass or you can hand it off. But the safest thing to do is always hand the ball off. That's always the safest thing to do, okay? So if you're running this, it's safe. It's, you can never make a wrong decision by handing the ball off. Just keep that in mind. So never try to do too much. Um... Face screen, screen will, great against cover two. When you have deep threats, you're going to get a lot of two high looks. So it's great to have that against cover two. Flanker, you're going to see a lot of me use this against zone. And then PA flood, you're going to see this against man coverage. So we got man beater, zone beater, um, cover two beater, and then like an RPO kind of like run game, which is kind of like short yards passing. So it's pretty lethal. So we always want to come out and read option just like this. You want to read that backside deep as the end. If he comes down, you want to take off Lamar. If he stays, you want to have the ball off. And now he comes down, so we want to go ahead and run it. Keep in mind, the computer, the computer, I think they're on, like, cracker or something like that. Like, they've always been lit. The computer's always lit on practice mode, so it's okay. Just be, just know it, it, it'll work, okay? Read option again. Uh, make sure you guys slide, too, as well. You don't want to just go ahead and just take your heat, hit, take your hits like that. Same thing, read option. You want to make sure you get that read off. Um, it's going to be a lot different when you have, like, a um, a player out there. So, read option one more time. We didn't get what we wanted. Um, it's really lethal. If they get open into open field, you have an opportunity to kind of create a lot of explosive plays. You know what I mean? Uh, another thing we have right here is RPO read. It's similar to the read option, but this time you have a pass option if you want to. So, I'm reading the read option. He's coming down. And then you want to make sure you hit that read just like that. Um, so it might take a quick second. You know what I mean? You might need to sell it, but make sure you hit it. So I'm reading right now R. Oh, that's not the read. My bad. That was read option. Let's just go ahead and get down. Let's get back to that RPO. That's important for you guys to know about. Okay, RPO wide receiver scheme just like this. You want to read that RPO. He comes down. Plant your feet. Get that off. Um, get your get up build. So the RPO is lethal. Make sure it's read, and then you want to run left side. So again, you're holding on to X if you need to do it, but you want to make sure you hit that R right there. <laughs> read him, please. Right there, we did. He did a bad job with the momentum and things like that, but that's fine. Uh, another thing we have is uh, fake screen will. Great cover two beater. If, if, listen, if if B's not open, there's a different things you can do. You can have X do. Like a slant, you can have him do a drag. I like having him do a drag. That's me personally. Um, I like doing that. Or you can have him just stay. Whatever suits your boat uh, is the pins. Great against cover two. It's literally a cover two beater. You're going to score almost every single time whenever you got too high look. If you have cover two man under, it might be a little bit more difficult. But if you want to beat two man and like have speed out there, put like a fast guy there. Uh, let's show you a little bit. Uh, let's go flanker spot. Flanker spot's a good play. Uh, what I like to do against flanker spot when I think there's zone, like right here it looks like a zone. I want to have my play action look going, but at the same time I want to have a drag going. I never want to have a slant going with a, uh, what's it called, an in route. That's a terrible route combination, having slants go against uh, in routes because the receivers run into each other. So for a point in time, they could be look damn near guarding each other. So you want to make sure the play actions are different this year. You can use them. It freezes the... Uh, the defense.
and they still do a great job at um, like if you need to check down, check down to the back. You saw it there, I checked down. Let's do it again real quick. Just short yards, you know what I mean? Just short short intermediate yards. That's something that's that's how you kinda wanna use it. It's a real quick audible. Literally X right here, just like that. Right here, this is important right here. Okay, so as right now, I'm identifying like these guys are playing off-man coverage. So if I at any point identify off-man coverage, I want to call it audible to flood, okay? Once I call this audible to flood, you want to press Y, B, X, and put him on a slant, okay? Not be Y, B, X, but put him on a slant. Put your side receiver in slant and have the motion is still going. So now you have an underneath route combination going with the slant and RB. And you got things to the side of the field. You can run if you're to the you spot the ball. If you're to the right side, that corner out looks really good. Um, you can also do double slant to beat any type of man coverages. It's great. It's great. Oh no, they did. I mean, hey, if they get you, that's on me. You know, what I mean, I can't. I'm not gonna sit here in front. We got man coverage again, though. That's on me. That's not necessarily. Yeah, that's clearly on me. We got him that time, that time. And what's his name? I think it's Byron Jones or a Woozy. That's a Woozy. Woozy's fast, though. He's fast. I'm not going to hate on him. Um, let's do flanker spot right now because it looks like zone. And we can switch it up, too, as well and have drag right here. Um, and then have a little – we can have this guy going a little hitch route, a little comeback route. You know what I mean? Something like that, short. Have the drag going underneath. That's a great route, route combination. You saw that right there? So we have a smash concept to the left. So if we call it right here again, we'll have – and you notice I don't throw a lot. Like a smash route to the left, we got a short end route, and then we got a deep corner route over the top of that. That's a cool route combination. And then this RB coming across. I don't throw it to the corner route a lot because I don't have the field because it's in the middle of the field. You see how we can use that route and then hot route them up? Extremely lethal. So we get man right here. We got man coverage. I love it. Flood route, flood route. Double slant, double slant, double slant. That was a bad throw. My bad. Uh, we can do a double slant again. Let's not do a double slant. We'll go just like this. I'm going to open up the middle football field. That tight end smooth to hit. If you go double slant, it's going to be a lot of chaos in the middle of the field. One slant sometimes is just good enough. Same thing right here. One slant. Snap, quick snap, quick snap, quick snap, quick snap, quick snap. Over top. Good shit, good shit. That type of stuff. You want to do real quick, real fast. Um, the blitz is not how it work how it used to work. Uh, so because of that, it kind of allows a lot of things to open up. So we're going to call a little freestyle right now, a little RPO. Um, but that's pretty much it for the offense. I'm going to go to the RPO bubble for the last play. And let's see if we can get the scrape fix real screen. Remember, whoever you got like a too high look like this, try to take advantage of that cover too. You know what I mean? Right there, he's not there. You see that? That's five yards. Take it. If it's not there immediately and they're not playing hard flat, go get your money and get your five yards and get up field. You'll have speed out there. You'll have an athlete out there. Be it, I'm telling you. Right there, he's on it. So he does a good job, but like outside of that, if he's not, go get your money. Real talk. Like, go get it. Right here, same thing. I know I'm overdoing it right now. I should have got that. You can also put Hollywood in fast guys. Right now we got Sneed running that. So think what happens if you have like Hollywood running that. It's gonna be a little bit different, you know? All right, so let's go to the RPO bubble, and that's going to be the last part of the uh, the ebook. It's a real smooth ebook. It's simple. It's vanilla. And that's what I like about the spread offense is that the fact that it's so smooth, man. It makes it very user friendly. You just have to be very smart with your decisions. That's all. You got to be extremely smart with your decisions. We'll go nickel, random nickel. Got to be smart with decisions. But anyway, it's just a smooth offense, and it creates big plays. So read right here. I'm running. And it's damn near a read option. If the, they don't go for the bubble, then I, I need you running the football. All right, same thing here. He's coming downhill. It's his read option. You need to go. You know what I mean? Get upfield. 
a little different. You have a stationary quarterback. Now, if you have a stationary quarterback, this is how you would play it. I'm reading. I'm just how I'm kind of more. I'm sitting in the pocket. I'm either handing off or throwing it. So I'm, I'm reading pitch man more if I have a stationary quarterback. Like, what's that P guy doing? Is he coming downhill? If you got P all the way up there, you can pretty much throw the ball, throw that thing. Unless they got someone in the hard flat, then you got to be mindful. Um, but that's the scheme, bro. It's super simple. Um, I don't know. Hit a subscribe. I mean, I think you guys will like it. I really think you're going to like it. Uh, so it's a good note, way to end. Oh, no. He hit me. That happens sometimes. Anyways, man, I appreciate you guys tuning in, man. I hope you guys enjoyed this ebook. Um, make sure you hit a subscribe. Uh, your boy one is out.